nicknames on the but I am bridge girl and like Davis, McKing, Bronze. They run up along like London songs, that they are a part of the heart of it to can bend or follow only with the flow. The crossing at last over river and air, we take the wide or watery breath where even the laid down wooden plank sleepers and their rubble that lift up deep shadow dry stone pieces are like the poured shingle of an ancient shore. And yet now how we arrive and meet into that far older, harder city roar where millions have walked up and down, fired up and around through streets that have breathed and lived and swiftly taken away so many of their offered up lives before. Where black back suits with topping heels made awkward rhythms and quick smoke fags and nervous gold down pipes. Yeah, got made a tight profit and let this time glancing off your top gold Rolex watches and checking more figures on phones and making, but making it now, now, now. But I can see there are faint fossils in the dim that quietly sleep in the pavement stars below that they are a part of the heart of it and can bend and follow up with the flow. And St. Paul's with its great grey wheel dome down bow. An elegant high white door, its pillars, spires, columns above that soar into a new cold, curved, and glassy world. The Nublenian Bridge, the silver metallic shining, the light hollow body echoing to your feet, its new smooth swinging sides. And the river here, powerful and enormous, a boat called the Conquistador pushing under the bridge through the boiling bright cold water, the rigour of the tide moving and swirling in a liquid which winter blades like a flowing from the cauldron. And the copper money in the homeless boy's thin white plastic cup, the thrown battle of a few shrapnel shadow pieces, the one solid pound coin he softly, gently fingers. And the Chinese guy selling wooden birds on pipes playing on one, its fragile folk like sound. And the row of new tender young white birches they are planted all around the new tape modern and its people to the cathedral of the building. By the riverfront, how the birch path there is flat and strewn with yellow oak of fine fallen leaves before the passing people treading messily all into them, walking. But then hearing all the wide world, varying languages and accents, a whole family of Italians in thick padded silver bomber jackets, the talking of their voices rhythmically flowing, wavering up and down in the river breeze, the grumbling of boat engines and the swishing turbulent weight they leave. So many layers of sound like fragments of gold leaf pieces, where St. Paul's chimes, the open low long bonging, deep for two o'clock, and the sun gold that bursts, bursts behind, then hitting the gleaming hall tip on top of the dome of the mountain, aspiring symbol of meeting miracle cross up in the sky, but when it's nothing to do with that God, but made from the energy, the labor, the gold gilt gift of the people. Lay down, added so delicately, it is a thing to sing so spiritually, where together we are bonded with the earth through time, that we are a part of the heart of it and can bend and follow only with the flow. If even from the other end of the world, like that lanky Japanese boy with wild hair and his patched bright, brightly multicolored jeans on, with a white European girl, both their feet fitted firmly into the river rail, until they both lean and look out, soft hand in hand, chatting, in silence against the winter scene, with the long brown shiny plaques on a huge puffy white limb where she looks like a creative college of, college of youth free green, a big olive uh, old army bag, long pea green socks, white plimsolls, green jacket and a flowery patterned skirt flowing, that everything about her like an ordinary, unique and human tender picture. And as they watch the playful seagulls flapping and hurtling, twirling from under the bridges, before they mount and flock up on a winged air and leave a sacred, colourful, wild cry like fluttering pieces.